Hello, I'm John Jarvie, a classical guitarist. A number of people who've watched my videos on YouTube have asked how I managed to play the classical style standing. And uh, I'm going to show you how I've managed that. The um, main problem, of course, is that the classical style requires a very stable uh, anchor for the instrument in order to uh, move the right arm up and down to get the different tone qualities that we like to get without the neck moving so much that uh, it suddenly becomes a, a moving target for our left hand. And I, I dealt with the problem uh, of stability by designing a, a particular uh, unique strap. It's actually more of a harness arrangement. And it does provide the stability I need, but it also there's some additional advantages to playing standing. One, of course, is that uh, the sit bones don't get so, uh, so un uncomfortable after hours of practice. Also, uh, in the traditional classical guitar position, sitting uh, in a chair with a footstool, um, there's a, a twist to the spine, and I also would find myself kind of hunching over, so my posture was, was uh, not so good in that position. Uh, also, I really admired the uh, violinists and uh, flute flautists and, and uh, wind players and who could play standing and, and had so much freedom of movement and, and uh, the ability to uh, move their body uh, with the expression of their music. So I set about to design a, a, a way of holding the guitar standing that would be suitable for, for the classical style. And what I've come up with is an arrangement of a strap that goes over each shoulder and um, has attaching, attachments at, at uh, the two ends here for the instrument. And then it crosses across my back. And I'll show you the, uh, the shape. It's sort of a figure eight arrangement. Hope you can see it there uh, with one strap going over the left shoulder, one strap going over the right shoulder, and then the crossing in the back. It's made of a, quite a heavy duty strapping material. It's, it's actually an automobile seat belt strap, and it's quite stiff, and that helps add, the stiffness helps add to the stability. And one very important uh, feature is at the crossing point in the back, there's a rivet. Now that prevents the strap from sliding, uh, one strap from sliding across the other strap. And it, were it to slide, it would allow the two ends of the strap to move. Um, and, and then the guitar wouldn't maintain a stable uh, orientation with your body. So when I designed the strap, at first I left the, the rivet out and, and then I got the guitar in the position that I wanted it to be in, and then I had a friend clip that, uh, the strap where it crossed in the back, and then I carefully took it off and put a rivet there. And it really works quite well. Then, for performance, I really don't want the strap to be obvious, so I cover it with a vest. Now the advantage of the um, very wide auto seat belt material is that it provides a lot of uh, comfort across my shoulder so that the weight of, of my arm resting on the guitar doesn't cause the strap to dig into those shoulder muscles. Plus, it's flat enough that the vest can fit over it and not really be obvious uh, from, from the audience's <coughs> point of view. So then I have to attach the guitar. Now here's a problem probably for a lot of people. I've actually attached buttons to my instrument. Now, I make my own instruments, I mean this instrument, and I just made sure that at the point where this button was, was going to be, I made sure there was a cross brace right at that point. This button then uh, goes into the heel, the Spanish heel. Even though this guitar has quite a radical cutaway, inside there is still a Spanish heel, and, and so that screws right into that. Additionally, I needed to put in a little spacer, and this is just a little plastic-shaped uh, spacer that attaches to the guitar with suction cups, easily removable. It, um, it 
fits inside my case. In fact, I can roll my strap up and, and with this and fit it in my case right in the cutaway area. So it's really, really handy for travel. But um, this spacer tilts the lower part of the guitar out from my body so it makes the position of the right hand more comfortable. I can see the strings better without having to bend over and and, and it's still, it's not out so much that uh, the left hand is still in a comfortable playing position. So when I come on stage and I'm bowing and greeting the audience just inconspicuously as I can, attach my instruments. So generally by the time the audience has stopped clapping and I've finished taking my bows, my instrument's in position and I'm ready to play. And it's really worked out quite well moving. So I've been very happy with it. I hope uh, that um, if you want to try it, that uh, this video will help with, uh, with your own design. And if anyone has uh, questions they'd like to ask, or uh, I would gladly send people the specifications for the strap that I've come up with. And uh, if you want to email me, simply visit my website, www.johnjarvie.com and on the contacts page, you can send me an email. And I'll be glad to, uh, glad to help you out in any way that I can. Also, there's um, a, a commercial strap that's made that's very, very similar to this, and people might find that interesting. It's made by um, Slider Strap Company, and it's called the Dual Shoulder Strap. And it's available through uh, many uh, music supply houses. And uh, the main difference with that strap is they have very purposefully left the rivet out at the crossing in the back. And that's so that um, people performing styles, rock maybe, or jazz, uh, and want to be able to move their guitar as part of their presentation, it allows that flexibility. Whereas for me, that would be a disadvantage, and so I'd place the rivet. rivet. But if someone wanted to use that basic strap, and when they find the proper orientation, simply put a rivet in there. I think that would work just fine. So I hope that answers some questions and uh, helps you out if you want to make one for yourself. And uh, I thank you very much. Bye.